everyone and welcome back. As you can tell by the title, today's video is a tutorial. It is definitely centered around the Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay. Um, it is just a very blush toned palette and using that palette I just created this sort of rose gold inspired look. Rose gold is a very popular shade here recently and so I figured why not be a little creative and use that to create a rose gold tone and so I did that. Hopefully you consider this rose gold. I personally do and then I just topped it off with a lip product which is new to me. Um, this is the Makeup Revolution London uh, Salvation Velvet Lacquer in the shade Rebel. It's just a liquid lipstick and it is now sold at Ulta and it's only $5 and so this shade is just a very pretty deep berry color and I just thought it complemented the rose tones in the eyeshadow very well so I just wanted to quickly mention those and if you would like to see how I achieve this look right here then let's just go ahead and get started. I've already primed and set my lids using this Lorac um, cream eyeshadow and just this fluffy brush and today we're going to be using the Naked 3 palette and the first shade is just going to be our transition shade in the shade Limit and you just want to heavily apply that to the crease so that there are no harsh lines. The next shade we are taking is the shade Buzz and that is just our main rose gold color and I am just going to be packing that all over the lid. It does take a couple tries to get it um, more of a solid color but just keep going and then you'll start to see a really nice color build up. For our crease, we're going to be taking the shade Nooner and just applying that in the hollow of the eye and just deepening that crease area a little bit more. And to highlight, I'm just taking MAC Nylon as per usual and applying that in the inner corner and brow bone. Instead of eyeliner today, I'm just going to be taking a pencil brush and the shade Dark Side from the Naked 3 palette and just applying that where you would typically apply eyeliner and just packing it on until you have your desired darkness of eyeliner. And just curl your eyelashes and apply any mascara. If you would like to wear false lashes, then go ahead and use those. I just definitely love the way this looks with natural lashes. And I just thought I'd show you what I did to finish off the rest of the face. I'm just taking NARS Laguna Bronzer and just bronzing up all over. And for blush, I thought Rocketeur from Benefit was the perfect color. It is a very pretty blushy, rose-toned uh, blush, and I just love the way that it complemented the eye look. And you definitely cannot skip highlighter, so I'm taking Champagne Pop by Becca Jaclyn Hill and just applying that all over. And to set everything, I'm just taking the L'Oreal Finishing Spray and locking everything in place. The liquid lipstick that we're using needs a good lip liner as a base, so I'm just taking Whirl by MAC, but you really could use any lip liner. And then now I'm just applying the Makeup Revolution Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rebel. Rebel. 